Hey guys, today's video is the 10 best tips that I would consider for beginners who are new to the game, trying to learn Valheim, and this is like just the 10 things you really want to remember the most and sort of focus on. I hope they help you out. If you think I missed anything, let me know down in the description. If you have any questions or just want to see me play in Valheim Live, check out my Twitch, link in the description. I'm streaming Valheim Live there a couple of times a week, and uh, there's a lot going on there. So I hope to see some of you there, but here come the 10 beginner tips. So the first tip I have refers to when you first spawn in in your world, and there are a couple of things you should do. First of all, you should go into to the settings go to graphics and put the vegetation right down to low this will mean you'll see so much more as you can already see as you're doing all of your exploring which will be the first thing that you do next you should go right up to this stone right here and press e and that'll give you the location of Ikthra, which is very important as that is the first boss and then what you should do is pick up everything that you see around the spawn area right here. You'll always find a bit of stone and a bit of wood. And you'll also find some raspberries behind here, just like this. And uh, there we go, some mushrooms behind this one. So instantly what we've got here is some food to be eating. And that is what you should do with it. So then when you're exploring, you'll have more health and more stamina to explore quicker and faster and have less chance of dying. Next up, the first thing you want to do is make yourself a club. And as you can see here, a club requires six wood. We currently have four. You'll always find a couple of branches lying around somewhere near spawn like this so i'd say go ahead and grab enough until you can make that club up as this will protect you on your journey and also enable you to kill things we can press two there to equip it and kill anything we see which is something you should be doing you should kill everything you see deer neck and boar but in particular the deer and i'll show you that in just a second so at this stage you already want to be thinking about where you're going to set up your base now there's a couple of things to think about we have limited information at this stage but it is enough to make a few early decisions first of all we know where i there is so heading off in that general direction could be a strategy so we're going to be near him as we are going to rush killing him that is a good important tip for early in the game the second thing is to look with your mouse over where you've come in and see if there are any biomes of interest around here so unfortunately it looks like for me this was just meadows what we're looking for is black forest as we do want to be near but not too near to a black forest when we start up our base early game uh, so it looks like we've just got meadows there's nothing ahead to there the open ocean is good to note though having open ocean is definitely something useful and somewhere you want your base to be near as well as it being in meadows surrounded by trees so when we're exploring we're going to pick up everything we find as we go along the way and we're going to make sure that we take a little bit of a mental note that that's what we're looking for now given that i don't have the black forest i'm just going to head off for Ikthra use my comma key there to zoom out on the map you can use period to go back in if you need to uh, we're gonna head towards Ikthra because why not and again we'll pick up everything we see along the way so you're gonna find yourself branches that you can pick up you're gonna find stone and you'll find things like this right mushrooms for example raspberries all of that sort of stuff now when you do find this stuff I would go ahead go onto the map select the marker and mark this location i'll put m there for mushrooms we'll do the same if we find raspberries the reason is they will respawn in the game after a little bit of time and later on you might need some of these resources it's going to help you out early game so here we are at ikthor's location and if i go to the map right here you'll see that we pray pretty much straight to it and uh, this is all the stuff that we managed to get in just this short amount of time so we're already building up our resources here one thing we're a little short on is raspberries but we are going to eat those right now as well as the mushrooms as soon as you start to uh, see the food flash you're able to eat it and you should it will help your uh, hit points and also your stamina which will hopefully mean you will die less now if you do die the best thing to do when you die you'll get a skull and bones that will mark on the on the map like this right let's imagine that's a skull and bones what you want to do is go ahead and make a little marker right next to it like this because when you die you get a gravestone with all your stuff now if you run back to that gravestone and die again the marker on the map will go so by having our own marker here we know where it is and we can come and get all of our things back if the worst does happen as i said i have been killing everything on the way I can just press r there to get my club out or to keep the club on my back as i'm traveling along the club being on your back just means you'll be able to move around a bit quicker uh, than if it's in front of you and obviously you can quickly get it back by just pressing r when you get to boar or deer or anything like that. So as I said, if you see deer, you should definitely prioritize killing them. The way you do that is to press control and sneak up on them. The reason we want to kill the deer is we need deer trophy. When we get uh, two deer trophies, we'll be able to spawn in the Ikthor boss, which is very important. Now, one star deer is great because it means we'll get extra resources, but we did get a little lucky there in that he was kind of trapped. If you uh, saw that, it took about three hits to kill him. So uh, we would not have been able to kill him in the open land because after the first hit, he would have run away. Um, so if you can get him trapped like that, that's great. Water is also a way of trapping them a little bit and slowing them down. Um, but if not, then it might be best to sneak up on one of the other deers to guarantee the kill. Now, as you can see, just in front of me here, there is a black forest characterized by these sort of pine looking trees. And uh, that means that 
that we're in a pretty good location here because we're in a meadows, we're near the Eichthert location, and we're also near the Black Forest. Now, if I open up the map, the only thing that we're missing is an ocean, so that might be something to consider later on. But I would say at this stage of the game, while we're just getting started out, building somewhere in this safe meadows here near Eichthert could be a really good idea. Now, we don't want to build too near to his altar because when we spawn him in, he will attack any structures that we've made. But if we just come down over here, we can probably get our Night 1 base up and running. So the priority now is all about getting to sleep. So the first thing we have to do is make ourselves up a hammer. And then we need to make up some materials here. So we're going to go ahead and equip the hammer and start by making a workbench. Now, if you get lucky like I did, you will find yourself some structures along the way. So just on top of this hill up here, we have got some man-made structures. Now, what we can do at this point is go ahead and place down the craft dimension nearby. And then we can use the hammer to take down these structures and get a lot of wood for them very quickly and very easily. So now we've collected all that wood, what we're going to do is go ahead and place down a uh, workbench here, roughly where we think our house is going to want to go. So if I pick up these stones here, we've actually got a reasonably good flat area near these buildings. So I'll place that there. The next thing to do is to build a bit of a wall around this just like this and what we're going to do is actually use this as our starter house so as you can see it doesn't need to be anything too big just like that is going to be big enough and we'll do the same over on this side and then we're just going to want to have a door and a roof so we can get in and out and also so we're able to sleep because we want to sleep through the first night mobs in this game do get more difficult at night time so it's good to sleep through that first night and not have to deal with those so put that there that there then inside here, we can go ahead and get the roof over the top. And the idea is that we're going to do this before it gets to nighttime, right? So you can see it's still sunny in my game. We've still got a bit of time to play with. If you find you need a bit more wood, the way to get that quickly is to walk up to these things you see right here. And you can just punch these down. Now, this does take a little bit of time. It is ideal. But all we're trying to do is get our house built and made so we can sleep through night one. And this should be enough to give us the extra needed to do that. So as you can see, just a very basic structure to get us going on day one just the bed down in there on the inside and then what we can do is go ahead and place down a campfire outside just down here like this now this campfire would go out if it rains but in my experience it has never ever rained on day one if you want to build up a little roof over the top of it to protect it and stuff you can it's just a little cheap way of making sure it's close enough to the bed by being behind this wall so now when we go inside here what we can do is press e to claim the bed and uh, then press e again to sleep and hugin's kind of in the way giving us nightmares he's always in the way he, he's huge in that's what he does um, but there we go so now that we've slept here it means if we die we'll spawn back here so we've got a bit of a spawn point set up which is nice now uh let me just get outside here again huge in just in the way there are we are we stuck because you can you just please leave oh my goodness Okay, now we managed to make it outside the house. If we go to the map, you'll see here you have a little bed icon. You might want to mark this with a house. The reason being, if you sleep in a new bed somewhere else later on, the bed icon will move to that bed. And so you might lose your base point if you don't mark it on the map. So the next tip refers to these grading things, which uh, come, sometimes will like come and hunt you in packs. Now you start the game with a torch. And as I said, you want to rush making the club. And if I wield them both by pressing one and then two, check this out can stand still these graylings will not attack me at least they won't hit me what they will do is run away and then look to throw stones at me but as you can see i've been stood here quite a while taking absolutely zero damage so far and the other thing about this is i can still go up close to them and attack them so if you want to keep the gray dwarfs and uh, graylings and things away fire is going to be the way to do that and the torch is a good way of doing that wielding it with a club or other weapon and then you can just go up and kill them and get the resources from them without really risking dying yourself you see there that was a throw of a stone reasonably easy if you're looking at them to avoid them actually being able to get you and it will definitely keep you alive in the early game before you've got that better weapons and armor so the next thing you want to do is get yourself a bow so you're going to need to get a load of wood to do that there's a tutorial on my video on how to get wood fast as you can see here one of the advantages when you find a structure is you can use your bow to get down a beehive and get bees highly recommend this early game as honey is one of the best actually the best early game food and you'll need it for fighting ike the two plus you'll get a queen bee where you can make your own beehives again i have tutorials in more detail on my channel of all this stuff like how to make the bees get the wood all that sort of stuff um, but that is one of the reasons you want a bow uh, however there are other reasons which we're going to come on to so another reason you want a bow is to fight trolls i have a guide on my channel how to fight trolls but essentially guys you run away from them and you shoot your bow at them this is actually quite an easy way to kill a troll early game without really risking yourself getting hurt and it will lead to you getting troll armor which is a very very useful armor i'm late game at the moment in my other worlds and i still use troll armor as my preferred armor in the 
game. And finally, the bow is really useful for killing deer. You'll be able to kill more deer and much faster with just a simple bow and wooden arrows. Again, we have videos on the channel how to get wood very quickly, but you need to kill a lot of deer in order to get the deer trophy to spawn in Ikthar and also make a deer rug for extra comfort and rested buff. So now it's time to spawn in and fight Ikthar. You need two deer trophies in order to make the sacrifice at his altar and spawn him in. Now, uh, the things you need to do prior to the fight are to get yourself some cooked necktails, some cooked meat, and some honey. This will give you plenty of hit points and stamina to endure the fight and hopefully not risk yourself too much. The other thing you want is either a couple of very crude bows at level one um, or a, a crude bow at level two should probably be enough. Uh, you can always make a little workstation somewhere nearby to repair it as you're going along prior to the fight if you wish. But what with that and fire arrows are the best if you can get them. The, uh, the fight is not too difficult. Now the fire arrows will require resin which you can get from killing the graylings uh, and also from chopping trees wood which of course you get from the chopping trees um, and you'll also need some feathers which you can get by shooting uh, birds with your bow and arrow and also when you explore and you find the different settlements and things like that around that have been abandoned in the chest you'll often get feathers from there as well um, now you although the feathers are sort of more difficult to get two feathers will give you 20 of the fire arrows and if you have 100 of the fire arrows for the fight, you should be fine. Uh, obviously, the more you can make, probably the better. But uh, yeah, that's where you're at with that. Now, you can kill him with just other arrows as well. Now, when you uh, kill him, what you'll get is the Ikthar Trophy, of course, and also some hard antlers. The hard antlers can be used to make the pickaxe, which we're going to go on to in a second, as mining is going to be the next thing we're getting into. As for the Ikthar Trophy, make sure you go to your spawn location, hang up the Ikthar Trophy at uh, spawn, and uh, then you can activate your Ikthar ability to give yourself better uh, stamina, regen, that sort of thing, health regen. Uh, whilst you're going around your world. Next, we're going to rush bronze. And the way we're going to do that is by finding these copper deposits you see here in the Black Forest biome, mining out a lot of copper and also mining out tin, which you find near water in the Black Forest biome. The other thing you'll need to do is explore one of the dungeons in the Black Forest, one of the uh, burial chambers, and get yourself some certain core in order to be able to smelt this down. Now, you only actually need five of them in order to do this because you can use five to make a uh, charcoal kiln, get all your charcoal, then destroy it, get the five back and use that to make a smelter where you smelt your copper and your tin with the coal. And uh, we're just seeing tin on screen here right now. And uh, then you'll be able to combine them in the forge in order to make yourself bronze nails. And the reason we're doing that is all about getting the cart. So the cart is a really useful thing in game. It'll greatly uh, increase the amount of storage you have available to you, as you can see here, lots of extra slots and things. Uh, and so when you're resource gathering, this is just a good thing to have. Now, this is obviously just a, a meant to be a quick video telling you my advice on what you should be looking to do. If you want a more in-depth video, I did make like a, a complete full guide to starting your new world properly, which gives you a 50-step process, right? That's not the idea in this video. It's meant to be a short one, but that is on my channel. If you guys want to see all this stuff covered here, today in more detail if there's anything you're struggling with and of course you can feel free to ask me any questions down in the comments or on my discord so the 11th bonus tip guys is actually 50 more tips which is the video that's going to be on the end screen in just a moment i just want to say thank you so much for watching today i hope to see a few of you over on my twitch link in the description and uh, of course here come the dad jokes what do you call a fish wearing a bow tie so fish decated where do you learn to make a banana split in Sunday school, of course. My four-year-old son said, Dad, can you put my shoes on? And I said, no, I don't think they'll fit me. What does a lemon say when it answers the phone? Yellow. What do you call someone with no body and no nose? Nobody knows.